East London Tech City, also known as Tech City and Silicon Roundabout, is the term for a technology cluster of high-tech companies located in Shoreditch, St Luke's and also in Hackney Wick in London, England. Its nucleus broadly occupies an area between St Luke's and Hackney Road, a cluster of web businesses initially developed around the Old Street Roundabout in 2008. The area had historically been relatively run down compared to the city. The 2008–09 recession further suppressed rents through the closure of numerous firms, making it affordable to technology startups, while redundancies from financial services companies, such as investment banks, released a pool of experienced talent interested in entrepreneurship. From 2010, as the cluster developed, both local and national government supported its growth, with the goal of creating a cluster comparable to Silicon Valley in the United States. Cisco, Facebook, Google, Intel, McKinsey and & Company and Microsoft are among the companies that have invested in the area. City, University of London, London Metropolitan University, Imperial College London, Queen Mary University of London and University College London are all academic partners in projects based in the cluster. Topic history Technology companies located in the area in 2008 included Doppel R, Last.fm, Consolidated Independent, Trampoline Systems, Ami, Skimbit, now Skimlinks, Songkick, Poke London, Keyzoom, Redmonk, Moo, L-Shift, Ketli, Solstice and Schulze and Webb. Other early companies to locate there were Tinker.it, Flubit, TweetDeck, Berg, Photungo, Wearticle.com, Rumble, Squiz, Techlightenment, Brightleman, Believe.in, Live Music and WAYN. Plans to help accelerate the growth of the cluster were announced by Prime Minister David Cameron in a speech given in East London on 4 November 2010. A year later, Cameron announced that he was appointing entrepreneur Eric van der Klei to lead the initiative. In 2010 there were 85 startup companies in the area. By 2011, approximately 200 firms were occupying the area, signifying a rapid increase in interest. Wired magazine updated this figure in 2012 and suggested some 5,000 tech companies were located in the wider area centered on the Old Street roundabout. Wired maintains a topic on the area. On 28 September 2011 it was announced that Google had acquired a seven-story building near Old Street roundabout. Google said that the building, in Bonhill Street, would host a range of activities, such as speaker series, hackathons, training workshops and product demonstrations in addition to providing workspace for new companies. The building, known as Campus London, opened in March 2012. In 2013 the Nominet Trust selected five startups making positive social change which are based in the cluster, Streetbank, Give What You're Good At, Vadir Est Kredir, Buddy App and Pavegan. A report by A published in 2016 highlighted the importance of London to the UK's fintech industry in terms of availability of expertise and demand for services. Investment Investment in London's technology sector was $2.28 billion in 2015, 69% higher than the $1.3 billion raised in 2014. Since 2010, London-based technology companies have collectively raised $5.2 billion of venture capital funding. Participants <inaudible> 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 Topic: Technology companies. Notable technology companies active in the cluster include Seven Digital. Amazon has opened its digital media development center in the area. Aurora Fashions, the company behind Coast, Oasis, and Warehouse, occupies one of the largest buildings around the Old Street Roundabout Exchange House, and with mobile sites and apps. Avoiding Mass Extinctions Engine, Ami. BT, has agreed to accelerate the roll out of superfast broadband in the area. Cisco, has agreed to establish an innovation center in the Olympic Park. Doodle EE, has introduced 300 megabits per second 4G in the Tech City area. Flubit Facebook, has agreed to create a base for their developer garage program in the hub. Google, has created an innovation hub in the area to develop next-generation applications and services whilst retaining its UK headquarters also in central London. Google also hosts its Campus London residency programme in the area. 
The 2018 cohort hosted startups focusing on tech for good. Gojimo, the UK's leading revision app provider. Growth Intelligence. Import.io. Inmarsat. Intel has established a new research lab in the area focused on performance computing and new energy efficiency technologies. Labstep. Last.fm. Live Music. Lost My Name. Memrise Microsoft, has created a developer community hub called the Microsoft Reactor in the area. Mixcloud Pavegan Qualcomm, has agreed to provide intellectual property advice to startup companies based in the area. R. Gar, is specialized in digital transformation with a ventures arm and startup accelerator. Seedcamp Simply Business Songkick Sports Interactive Squiz Stack Exchange Startup Weekend Streetbank Stripe Transferwise TweetDeck Vay Interactive, an e-commerce solutions provider based in Clerkenwell Workshare Invest Topic: Educational Institutions Educational institutions active in the cluster include Imperial Innovations the technology transfer company of Imperial College London has agreed to advise on the creation of an accelerator space for spin-out companies at the Olympic Park Loughborough University and University College London, have agreed to work with the Olympic Legacy Company to establish a bridge between academia and enterprise in the Olympic Park London Metropolitan University, has their own student accelerator and business incubator, Accelerator London, in 35 Kingsland Road. Topic financial and professional services providers Financial and professional services providers active in the cluster include, Barclays, has agreed to create a new facility to provide specialist banking services to technology companies based in the area KPMG, opened a dedicated office in January 2013 providing accounting and tax advice to early stage technology companies McKinsey & Company, has agreed to provide advice on the creation of the hub and help to new companies starting out in the area Silicon Valley Bank, has agreed to to establish a UK-based bank to provide financing for technology and life science companies based in the area Capco, relocated their UK headquarters to Great Eastern Street in 2014 along with Bold Rocket, and is currently providing office space for small fintech startups Taylor Wessing, opened the cluster's first dedicated law firm office in October 2011. <laughs> Topic. Community organisations A number of not-for-profit organizations have created a sense of community in the area including Independent Shortage, a business alliance, and Digital Shortage, which organizes monthly meetups plus an annual festival of the same name. East London Radio launched in 2013 as an online talk community radio station run entirely by volunteers, with studios in several East London boroughs. Topic public sector organisations Public sector organisations active in the cluster include, City of London Corporation, assisted in the creation of the Innovation Warehouse Tech City Investment Organisation a quango founded by the UK Government Department UK Trade and Investment to encourage the growth and development of the Tech City cluster. Topic. Housing As the cluster expands, a number of developments have been, or are due to be built, such as by ASAP member Cuckoos, who launched its latest design-led apartments in 2018, targeted towards the tech companies and offer apartments in a renovated Art Deco-style cinema dating back to 1870, and features a new art house cinema on the ground floor. While, the Atlas building on Old Street has full planning permission and is substantially already pre-sold on the market, and the Maker, which is situated on Nile Street close to City Road on the very edge of Tech City and designed by Avanti Architects, which is under development and will provide 175 contemporary, apartments within an elegant 28-story tower and connected low-rise building. Topic. Responses. The rapid growth of the cluster has met with some criticism. 
Think Tank Center for London said the development had little focus and could be counter-productive. The think tank also raised concerns over a skills shortage, connectivity, lack of mentoring and rising costs. Tech City has been called a marketing gimmick on the wrong side of London away from Heathrow Airport which is still over 30% more expensive than any city outside London. James Dyson criticised the government for spending money on the scheme to attract international companies who drive up rents instead of helping start-up and hardware companies who he argues have greater potential than software and internet companies. Transport London Underground Northern Line City Branch and National Rail Northern City Line which is operated by Great Northern provide services at Old Street. With the increase in passenger numbers using the station, in 2014 Transport for London announced that it was to offer pop-up retail space at Old Street Station as part of a drive to increase its revenue. See also Financial technology Silicon Fen Silicon Glen MediCity UK The Sharp Project